So you have to learn time management. Speak to other veteran nurses. Not all nurses are going to be nice to you. That's another tip. Know that nursing is a very um, <sighs> nursing is a very like to be honest with you, nursing is a very is a career where it's like not everybody's your friend. I guess that's where all careers lie, but especially nursing. Like nursing is really going to make you tough. Like I would say in your nursing career when you first start nursing, like be nice to everybody. Try to be nice to everybody. Um, even the people who like give you attitude or whatever, like don't mind that at all. Like be nice to everybody because you never know who can help you at the end of the day. Um, but be cautious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like be careful what you say. Um, you could be friendly, but don't open up yourself. Like don't talk about your personal life. Don't talk about, you know, your goals. Don't talk about what you're going to do in life, like what you want to be or like what you plan on doing or your personal life, your husband, your kids. Like don't talk about those stuff with any of the nurses or anything because nursing is like a very like very, very like catty kind of profession sometimes. Some people are very nice and some people are genuinely nice. Some people genu genuinely want to see you succeed. But nursing is one of those fields, fields where like... You gotta like tread lightly with everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just give them a little bit. Like, don't be antisocial. Like, oh, I'm not talking to you because then you're really gonna be hated. Talk to people, but like, keep a distance. Always keep your work hat on. Do not think that the staff members are your friends. Like, okay, yes, maybe one or two people could really become your friends, but in a long term care facility, just trust me. Save your friends for. Just in the long-term care facility, don't, like, in my opinion, like, just don't mix personal with professional with nursing. This is the wrong field to do that with. You will regret it. Just don't do that. Be nice to people, but don't open up about nothing. I'm telling you. Because gossip is, like, very quick in nursing. Everybody knows everything. Everybody knows your business, blah, blah, blah. It's better to be silent, but not silent like antisocial if you know what I mean yeah so that's a really big rule be very careful with nurses because sometimes one thing you may say you may not think is a you may not think like it's an offense but some people will a lot of times some people will find a reason to get upset you know what I mean so just don't open up you have to give many medications and treatments to your patients so my advice to you is if you are on a floor we have to do medications and treatments and notes okay so when you first get to the floor if you're doing treatments as well I remember somebody taught me that trick and I always use it to this day like when I like my new job I started like I don't know everybody too well so I would go under the treatments and I would look at my shift and what's due and I'll go to each patient and write down my treatments. You know what I mean? I'll write down the treatments on a piece of paper. So and then I would prepare the treatments in advance instead of like while I'm giving meds and they're gonna say, Okay, patient B is ready for her treatment and you have to stop what you're doing and then go on the computer and say, Oh my gosh, this this oh she needs this treatment, this treatment, let me try to figure it out. Like, no, that's not gonna work. You're going to have to set that up before. That's why I said, like, at the end of the day, it's like to each his own. But that's my um, advice. M write down all your treatments first. All your treatments I have to do. And then when it's time to go, like, you're like, bada boom, bada bang. Oh, yeah, I already got that prepared. I already got that set and prepared. I'm about to do my treatments. And that's it. Make sure you know who your treatments are. That's what I'm saying. Be nice as well because your CNAs are going to tell you, who needs treatments because they're the one giving the direct patient to patient to patient to aid care they're they're giving direct care to the patient so if you're really nice to them they'll tell you okay this person needs treatments blah 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 and then that will happen that you will have some people who are not so nice but like you know what I mean like just be nice the aids are very important like make sure you're nice to your aides because they will help you in times of need like they will tell you okay no this is how this nurse did that treatment because sometimes facilities want treatments done a specific way like no don't do it this way do it that way like they'll give you the ins and outs like don't do the treatment this way or don't give that patient this medication like that or that patient is hard to get or no this patient is crushed because sometimes when you work in certain facilities, they don't tell you if the patient is crushed. 
So that's another thing. If they have to crush their medications, like seeing so okay, this um this patient gets their um medications crushed or they'll or if you don't know a patient, they'll point it out and like, okay, this is patient B, this is patient C and you'll know exactly what. Or you know, if you could find out um if you don't know if a patient is crushed or whole, like if you look at a patient like, okay, this person doesn't look like they can swallow, you can also look at their chart and their orders and see what dietary role, if they're pureed, most likely they're crushed. But you know, every, I'm telling you, every patient is different. Sometimes they're pureed, but they really want, they won't take it unless it's swap, unless it's whole or unless it's whole with applesauce. Like there's so many, like, there's so many, like, you have to have a lot of nuance in this field. Like, you have to be very flexible. You can't be, like, stern. Like, it's, you have to be very flexible, and you have to be willing to open your ears, and you have to be willing to be humble. Please do not walk in there like you know it, because you don't know nothing. I know. You went to nursing school. Good. Good job. It taught you how to teach the NCLEX, but it didn't teach you how to be a nurse. <laughs> that is the sad truth okay so when you write your treatments down and you prepare your treatments when your CNA calls you he or she won't be annoyed that you have to go look for it and waste their time so just have that prepared when you're writing your report or whatever um, look at the previous shifts report so let's say you're making a report on a nursing note on really is that making that noise let's say you're making a a, a note on Miss Mary. Um, use the nurse's previous notes as a guide. Don't write. Don't write specifically word for word what the other nurse did. Just use it as a guide. Like, okay, because like you're a new nurse, so you never really wrote a nurse before. Like, let's say resident A is. Let's show you how the vital signs. Resident A is in bed and stable. All care was rendered. Resident is on amoxicillin, day number one of seven for UTI. I don't know. Um, I'm just making up stuff out of the top of my head. Um, no adverse reactions noted. Resident is adjusting well to the unit. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, use it as a guide. Don't write it specifically what for what, but use it as a, not, as a guide. Don't think that you could just write your own notes because you may miss something. And plus, the other nurse's notes kind of gives you a feeling of how that facility likes their notes written. Trust me, you won't do it like that, but don't do it word for word because if state comes, that looks bad. So, you know, use it as a guide, like an outline. It shouldn't be that hard. Try to bring your blood pressure machine when you're giving blood pressure meds. So every nursing home is different. Some nursing homes are very strict. And like, you have to use our blood pressure machine that's calibrated, you could get in real big trouble. But some nursing homes are a little bit easier. So if you have that small blood pressure cuff, honey, blood pressure cuff, honey, and you know this resident is like, oh my gosh, you'll take that, that blood pressure one, two, three very quickly and you'll see if that resident can take blood pressure medications or not it gets easier <laughs> it gets easier i wish somebody would have told me that like when i first walked into the floor for the first time i remember this guy was like oh you're new oh you're gonna be over here a long time that's so mean like you know nobody really helped me i'm not gonna lie nobody really helped me nobody really held my hand um i mean i had people who helped me like like one nurse here or there like that night Actually, the morning nurse came early and she really helped me. And then the night nurse decided that she wanted to be nice and she finally helped me. Um, but don't expect people to help you. Like, don't expect, not those people to help you, but, like, don't expect people to hold your hand. Nobody's going to hold their hand. Nobody's going to hold your hand through this nursing journey. Nobody's going to really hold your hand. Nobody's, like, you're, like, you're not going to be sure like a child. I don't care how young or old you are. Like, nobody really cares. Like, it's really like a cutthroat industry. <laughs> you really grow tough skin with nursing. Like, but that's why, I'm, that's why it goes back to tip number one. Make sure you make a plan to get out of there because you don't want to stay in long-term care forever. It's depressing. Okay? You don't want to stay, like, there because, like, it's not really, like, I mean, every job has its difficulties, but, like, you don't want to stay there forever. It's not something, like, you know, <laughs> it's a good place to, like, make your little money, you know, get your little experience, but it's not a good place to stay forever. And, you know, try to ignore the negativity because 
like I said, it depends on like where, where you work because where I work now, like it still has some negativity. Like I definitely could tell when somebody's being snarky or somebody's being rude or whatever. Like, but you know, I just brushed off my shoulders because I've been through hell and back with my old facility. To be honest with you, um, but you have to learn how to ignore the negativity and know that like yo, you're gonna be some place in life. And um, I love watching. This nurse YouTuber, her name is Fatima Francesa. You could check out her channel. But she, I remember one time she was making a video and she talked about that too. Like how, you know, she would sit, say her goals to people nursing in her nursing job. And then people would be like... So it's like, it goes back to that. Like, you just have to ignore the negativity. And a good way to ignore the negativity is not tell people about your future plans. And not tell people about your personal life or what you got going on for yourself. Because at the end of the day, like... Um, I feel like nursing is a very competitive field. Nursing school is very competitive and it very much transfers onto real real life when you're on the on the floor. So as I say, keep your eyes and your ears open um, and uh, just try not to be negative. Try to do meditation before you work. Like I know people may, I know people may throw that advice away and be like, oh okay, but I'm serious. Like if you don't believe me <laughs> If you don't believe me and you don't think that um, meditating before work is much needed or doing yoga or doing some type of exercise, like you're not, like, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Because, like, I've been through my fair share of things. Um, and try to exercise, like, after work. I know you're going to be so tired, but try to exercise after work. Um, try to get a good pair of nursing shoes because your feet will hurt you because you're going to be standing for a long, long time. Try to get a good pair of nursing shoes. Please eat healthy. Sometimes they give food like from dietary um if you must i have before eat it but please take the time and prepare your healthy meals because no just like take the time <laughs> take the time and prepare your healthy meals spend the money to make your healthy meals because at the end of the day this is your body you got and if you're not good they can always find somebody else you're disposable when you're an lpn working at a long-term care don't you ever forget that so that's what I'm saying tip number one make a make a at least make a plan at least think about okay I'm gonna get out of here so okay so this is my that, that was my video about tips on being a new licensed practical nurse at a long-term care facility because that's where my specialty was um if you guys like this video I would really appreciate it if you give a thumbs up and a like button if there's anything else you want to see anything you're curious about maybe I don't know, NCLEX, maybe nursing school advice. I know it's been four years, but I still remember some stuff. I don't know, maybe um, tips on medication, tips on this, whatever. Just leave it down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to see it. Bye. Love you. Mwah.